Sam Hurley was only 10. His father was dead and his family had no money. So Sam traveled from hollow to hollow, asking to work in exchange for food. As he searched for a place to bed down for the night, the cry of a catamount shattered the tranquility of the forest. The boy was terrified. Sam finally found an outcrop of rock and crawled into the meager shelter. He made a promise that if God would spare him that night, one day he would build a place where boys and girls could be safe and secure. Sam survived that night and eventually prospered in business. He kept his promise. He built the Mountain Mission School, which has been a place of sanctuary and education for thousands of children since 1921. Remember, he can lick anyone. The children who come to Mountain Mission School come from many places, many races, and many circumstances. They have one thing in common. They need a loving, caring place to grow and learn and thrive. The primary goal and objective, and I, since the beginning of time, is to allow the child's life to be restored. Let children be children. Um, our kids are being required to grow up way too fast, and because of that, one of our goals is to just make it so that it's a children's world. It's been a real blessing. I, I love this school. Like, it's just my family. And yeah, I've been blessed. It was meant to me. It's my life in most cases other than it's pretty much given me a second chance at life. Well, like, you have your family here and you stay here with your friends and it just means, it means more than just um, a school that you go to is actually where, um, where you live your life, you know, where you, you, know, you feel like home here. When you're at home, you're relaxed, and that's, it's a relaxed atmosphere. Uh, the children have their privacy, and they know they're safe, um, and they're protected. And they can go to bed at night knowing that nothing's going to happen. And that, that's a lost art for a lot of kids in the world today. The children at Mountain Mission School are part of a family but it's a family with an important goal, education. Over the past 10 years, virtually every senior has gone on to college. We run, from our ninth grade through our 12th grade, a college preparatory program. Uh, we meet and exceed the Virginia, Commonwealth of Virginia learning standards um, in terms of requirements for graduation. And uh, we, don't, we don't have study halls, we run curriculum, uh, school day from eight, 8 to 4 for that age and everything that we do pursuant to that is to prepare them for college. Uh, the incredible thing though about what we do is we're able to take a child who might be more gifted than another academically and prepare them for whatever is in store for them that there really is no no limit to what the opportunities are for where our children can go. I don't know where I'll be but because of Mountain Mission I've been blessed and I'm going to college and you have a future. I have a future. <laughs> Education is expensive. State-of-the-art teaching tools like microscopes hooked up to video cameras cost a lot. But Mountain Mission School finds a way, and they always pay as they go. It's a principle that Sam Hurley established when he founded the school. As far as finances are concerned, they're always a charge. Um, but I can tell you that we in the fiscal year, in the black. I remember when we had no computers, and computers started coming. We got computers. Our children didn't know what a computer was. They're now all computer literate, even down to the kindergarten. Um, people see that need, and then they respond to that need. Basically, I believe that people are seeing this as an investment in the lives of the children. And if they will invest in the lives of these children, like all wise 
civilizations have done. They've always invested in their young. How do they want that generation to be? Do they want it to be a blessing or not? Through the years, thousands of children from toddlers to high school seniors have found their way to the Mountain Mission School and found there a home and a family. And each year, graduates go off into the world and bear witness to the things they've learned, both spiritual and academic. Sam Hurley would be proud. 